Dozens of pages, nearly one inch thick, document the notes taken by House Chief of Staff Terry Foff, who has handled seven harassment complaints against House members since the start of 2018. Some rose to a level of a full-fledged investigation. Others were resolved with just a discussion. Among the most serious was filed on April 27th, when a staffer reported that a male lawmaker had a long pattern of intimidating and abusive behavior. In the complaint, the staffer said a representative referred to her as the old bat and the granny in the corner to other lawmakers. On April 26th, a female lawmaker felt sexually harassed when during a House session, a male lawmaker walked by her while she was seated and stopped, faced her, and wiggled his pelvis. That case was investigated by the Department of Justice before being closed by the House. We have to make it a safe and uh, welcoming environment and a professional environment, and that's what we're striving to do. The New Hampshire Coalition Against Domestic and Sexual Violence says there are likely a number of incidents that have not been reported and blame potential anonymity on the complexity of a workplace. If a victim is deciding, should I report or am I going to risk losing my job and my paycheck, they may not be inclined to, which is why it's so important that we continue to change environments and hold people who engage in this behavior accountable. Now, the House Chief of Staff says since filing the April 27th case, he has not filed another harassment complaint. The most recent seven complaints are considered closed. Mike Cherry, WMUR News 9.